Hey out there, Bulb2 fans, Professor Bulby here. I'm gonna tell you a story about how I almost died in Cuba. I was in Cuba from February 9th to the February 19th, and I brought in my 30th birthday on the 18th. Yes, I'm old. Old as sin. Sinful. Anyways, I was staying in a resort and there was this beautiful beach. It was stunning. It was nice. And I noticed when I was walking out there that there was the option to windsurf and it said must have experience. I myself have experience windsurfing. Um, I've windsurfed before and it is a lot of fun. If you've never done it before, I highly suggest trying it. So I'm out there. It took me about half an hour to find my water legs again. And that's the ability to stand on a board with the waves and be able to pull up the sail. Once I figured that out, it was smooth sailing, pun intended. I was not the only one out there. There was other people out there, and one person in particular who also thought they were experienced, but it turns out they were not. This person came towards me at a fast velocity and collided with me directly. <coughs> As they crashed, I was not able to hold onto my sail, and I let go, mine went into the water in front of me. They let go of their sail, the wind caught the sail, and brought it down and forced it upon my face. Forced it. Like, I was raped by a windsurfing sail. Well, actually, pretty much. Anyways, it did penetrate me, sort of, but it split open my eyebrow, as seen here. Ah! That's after it was clean, it actually looked pretty decent. It's a big gash, that's for sure. I still have the stitches here, you kinda see it. I blacked out for like a sec, I didn't quite know what had happened, but I figured it out very fast as the pole was right beside me. I was wearing a life jacket and I'm glad I did because I thought if that hit me on the head, maybe it would've knocked me out. It's a pretty heavy sail. Your mom is a heavy sail. I looked over and this person looked terrified. They just pointed at me. It obviously did not speak English. I put my hand to my face, because something hurt, and as I took it back to look, it was full of blood. Frank, red blood. I was bleeding a lot. My first thought wasn't, oh gee, I hope it doesn't get infected, or I hope I don't lose my vision, or anything like that. My first thought was, holy fucking shit, what if sharks find my blood and then want to eat me? So I scurry my ass to the sand, I, I walk my windsurfer over, I'm just like profusely bleeding and I'm trying to hold it, um, to make sure that, you know, you put pressure so it doesn't bleed more. And it's just trickling down my arm. And there's tourists on the beach everywhere looking at me, all stopping and staring and just pointing. And I'm like, yeah, thanks, that's helping a lot. Uh, finally, one of my friends come along and they're like, are you okay? I'm like, obviously not. So they grab the windsurf and return. Um, I go to see the doctor who's at the resort and uh, for a hundred bucks, she said she'd stitch me up. I'm like, all right, let's do it. She takes a look at it, uh, puts disinfectant in it, and then says that she cannot suture it because she doesn't have the supplies there. So I have to go into town now. The bleeding did stop, thankfully, at that point, and I'm still holding and putting pressure on it. I take a taxi out to the emergency room, which was completely empty, and uh, I was greeted by this woman who looked very unimpressed that I was there. I must have ruined her day of doing nothing. I get brought onto a metal tray, I lay down on it, and before I know it, a nurse takes care of me and sutures me up. Uh, before she was about to suture me, I tell her no, and to use a local anesthetic, because I worked in Emerge before as a nurse, so I know exactly what it has to happen, um, and we bargained together and understood what the word lidocaine means. Lidocaine is a local anesthetic, it will get rid of any of the pain, and it restricts blood flow so you're not going to get really, really messy with the, with the stitching. The suturing hurt a little bit, definitely even with the lidocaine, because the pressure of the needle going through my eyelid was actually like, not a happy feeling at all. It was kind of funny to be a patient on that end of it for the first time, um, and, and nurses make terrible patients. So there you go. That's how I almost died in Cuba. Between that and the food. My god, the food was so bland. Overall, Cuba was pretty interesting, uh, people were very friendly. Life there is so cool because you don't have internet at home. You have to buy a card, and it's a dollar, and you get internet for one hour. And there's only like little hot spots within town that actually have internet. So it's very different. Um, you don't walk down the street and you don't see advertisement. There's no product placement. There's no competition in that sense because it all goes to the Cuban government. 
If you have any crazy stories of where you travel to, or if you want to tell me where you travel to, comment below. This has been Professor Balbo, signing out.